myself and Owen McDermott got offered an opportunity of a lifetime by Visit Scotland Tourist Board to cycle around the Highlands of Scotland, which is one of the most scenic areas of the world. Trip had been glorious, and it had been really tough, uh, you know, a week cycling in the Highlands. With the first few days, we had been absolutely dominated by the weather. The day before the accident, it was glorious, you know, it was 18 degrees, 19 degrees, we were out uh, in the Highlands, which looks really like Connemara, even I think maybe the mountains are even a little bit bigger, and it's that real rugged beauty, and we were, you know, did a full day, and everyone felt good, and the cycling was good, and the crack was good. Incredible few days, weather hasn't been great, but yesterday, Sunny weather, going through Glencoe, like absolute paradise. We decided to break the cycling up by doing a bit of an adventure, kind of adventure centre kind of thing. And we went to Nay Limits, which is this amazing adventure centre in a place called Pit Lockery in, in the Highlands. And we decided to do canyoning, which sounded to me amazing, well up for it. We had done three days cycling, so everyone was looking forward to the little bit of adventure in the canyoning. And they do softer stuff. They'd said, oh, you can do white water rafting, but that's a little bit tame because the rapids aren't so crazy. And they're like, this is the most extreme thing we do. We said, yeah, sign us up, deadly. Just don't carry on down jumping off stuff until we show you, until we show you where to jump, okay? Grab your helmet. Yes. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start making our way down. I'm not overly sure what happened. Like we'd done a few jumps into the into gorges of a brilliant crack. It was a little waterfall. It was about two and a half meters high, and I jumped out a little further. I think he underestimated my legs. I'm also six foot six. When my feet hit the water, or hit the rock, <laughs> I wish it was water to hit. And my ears. I just remember my ears ringing, and I felt something go on my left my left ankle. I just knew it. And I I played rugby. I played a lot of sports. I know when something's not good. There's your body goes into this kind of slight shock. And Brezzy just came up and he just had a stony face on him. He pulled himself into the water and I hadn't jumped yet, so I was standing over the cliff looking down. He said, oh shit, that's bad. I knew something had snapped, so I was either my Achilles or I put it out, I dislocated it. Um, and at that point, the first thing I thought of was how the fuck are we gonna get back up? You know, real concern for the first few minutes that he might've broken his ankles. And then after that, kind of a little bit delighted that I beat him at something, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was pretty chuffed, all right. I don't know how we did it. We basically got the abseiling rolls, put them around trees. The the guys from Nay Limits were amazing. They actually just, I don't think they've ever dealt with it, but they dealt with it like they've dealt with it a million times. I didn't want a helicopter to come and pick us up in case the injury wasn't bad. And then everyone went, you, you got a helicopter to pick you up for like a, for, yeah, that was, so I didn't, I didn't want to be that guy. So I pulled myself out of the gorge, but it's fairly fucking sore and went into hospital. Yeah, well, listen, like I say, I'm not going to lie, I was, I was pretty delighted I came out on top of the canyoning challenge. So that would be my bragging rights. I think I said to him on Twitter, he looked like a... Because he said, even with his two gammy ankles, he beat me out of the gorge. And I said, that's because the lads hoisted him up like a they gammy. They only hoisted me from the bridge. Hey, you're a gammy-legged Simba is what you are. You're a gammy-legged Simba. You're no good now.